All right, this is my weapon system for range and sword and just normal punching melee. So first off, we'll start with arrows. When I touch them, I pick them up like you've seen in my previous videos and everything. And when I hit right trigger right now, I'm not shooting anything. I just, I'm able to punch. But once I pick up a sword, it swings the sword like normal, right? And then if I go to the crossbow, I can aim and everything, and then I can shoot, and it shoots until it runs out, and then after that, then we'll not shoot anymore, but I can swing it and just use the crossbow as like a melee, like just bash people in with it, and then again, my knives from my other previous videos, I can check those, I just kind of did that, it has nothing to do with the weapon system, but yeah. So we'll go and look at the brains for everything. So go look at the brains for the arrows. It's same, hasn't changed since the last video. There's nothing about it, it just increases the arrow count. Once it's increase, done increasing the arrow count, it destroys us out. Okay, so now let's look at the brain for the crossbow. So, one equipped global arrow count equals zero then it, or if the arrow count is greater than zero I mean when right triggers hit it enables fire arrow to increase by one and and then after that it just takes one arrow count is decreased by one and so so gotta make sure those are different fire arrow and arrow count are different and this one is just right trigger is pressed equals sword increased by one. And so there's nothing really complex about that. Just make sure you have something like sword and so. And now we'll get to the brain of my character. So scroll down. Uh, this is the same as that to display how many arrows you have there. Okay. So there's my throwing system at line 21 and so that's how you throw stuff. All right, so line 35. Uh, so global fire arrow is uh, greater than zero. It'll shoot in the direction I'm looking. And then after that, it'll global fire arrow is decreased by one. And so, so Pretty much it just means it'll fire an arrow, and then after it fires that single arrow, it'll just decrease it by one. Simple, straightforward, and so. And so, next line is for the sword. So, global sword greater than zero means I attack, and so, just a normal melee attack of any sort. And since the sword just doesn't have to be equipped for our for the right trigger to work, it makes it so no matter what, whenever I hit right trigger, I melee, and so. But if I do have a sword in my hand, then it swings the sword. If I have the crossbow, it just swings the crossbow like a melee weapon. And it's crucial that line 35 is above line 38, and because if line 35 is executing, that means shooting, then it'll skip line 38 because you cannot have two moves at the exact same time. And so that makes it so it doesn't execute the melee right after you shoot. And so, so if you're able to shoot, you'll shoot. If you're not able to shoot, it'll go to the melee attack and they just cancel each other out. So see, more I can just punch around, punch, 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 punch. Grab the sword, swing, 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 and keep on attacking all I want. Uh, so, if you guys like this video, please subscribe. Any questions, put it in the comments below. And have fun and get out there and create something. Thank you.